Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer, and this is the interview I did on 103.7 FM Bob Radio with Brock Tufts. For the Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands, and Rideau Lakes federal by election. 1037 Bob FM, 80s, 90s, and whatever. I'm Brock Tufts. Good morning. We have a by election coming up on December 3rd here in Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands, Rideau Lakes, the longest riding name. That has to be in the country. Uh, and on the line, we have uh, John Termal, who is running. Uh, John, good morning. Hi there. Thanks so much for coming on today, John. You're running, uh, and this isn't your first election, right? No, number 97. 97 elections, John. What makes you want to run for 97 different elections? Well, I took out the site smartestmanonearth.ca because no one else dared because I got the smartest idea in history paying kids with bus tickets to shovel our snow and clean our parks, freeing up adults to fill our potholes. Can you think of anything smarter than that that you've ever heard in your life, paying kids with bus tickets for empty seats that aren't being used? John, did that idea start it all for you way back when? Well, no. Uh, back in 1979, I ran for Parliament to legalize gambling, prostitution, and pot. Because I was a professional gambler, I thought it was silly not to have casinos, shy and ugly people got a right to get laid, and pot's my business with my doctor, not me and a cop. But then they asked me about inflation, and I said, how come my casino chips don't inflate, and the government's tokens, coins do, and it's the same hardware? Inflation must be a software problem. So, I did an analysis, realized interest causes inflation, and the big lie of economics is that it fights inflation, and so I kept running an election after election after election, offering to reprogram the Bank of Canada's computer to operate interest-free like a PayPal. Okay, you log on, you pledge hours of labor instead of a credit card, and then you use that Bank of Canada account to cut checks, to pay all your interest-bearing debts, get to one number, and after that, all your payments go against principal. That's right. Time, marijuana, of course, is legal now. Gambling is legal now. But the prostitution thing, do you still think the prostitution should be legal? Well, of course. Shy and ugly people got a right to get laid. Why would you not let them? <laughs> I like the opinion, John. Well, no one's ever argued when they heard it that way. But as for the marijuana, right now I've got 250 self-defending people in federal court complaining about the marijuana laws. Don't think that because they made it legal for rich people to buy from corporations that that has helped anybody poor. Do you think that marijuana being legal hasn't helped anybody that's poor or smoking marijuana? Well, I'm saying that the current regime which makes it legal to buy high-priced pot from LPs isn't helping poor people who can't afford to buy it from LPs and who want to grow it themselves. But then the government stalls their applications for half a year, and I've got people suing for damages for having their applications stalled that long. Now, John, you are in The Guardian uh, not too long ago, actually in September, yeah. And uh, the headline reads, No Regrets, World's Biggest Election Loser Runs for the 96th Time. So this is your 97th time, John. Why do you keep doing this if you keep losing? Well, because paying kids with bus tickets is the smartest idea on earth. I am an electrical engineer. I swore an oath to maximum optimized engineering design. And I detected a flaw in the software of the Bank of Canada's computer. So, just like Mr. Spock, how many times have you seen him save a planet from danger by reprogramming a computer? I can do it too. So, I just want to switch the software at the Bank of Canada and abolishing interest rates fixes everything for everybody. John, are you an electrical, electrical engineer by trade now? Well, no, I never did it. I was a professional gambler my whole career. In my last year of engineering, they started the mathematics of gambling course. 
My old engineering prof gave it. I took it and I started making so much money going to Vegas and playing poker that Professor Schneider said, John, you got to be an idiot to go work for Iron Ore Company in Quebec at six bucks an hour when you're making 40 in Vegas. Be the teaching assistant on my gambling course and try and be a professional gambler. And if you Google for great Canadian gambler, I come up. If you've ever seen the movie Rounders with Matt Damon, the scene at the Trump Taj Mahal in Atlantic City, every card game's got its guy they call the professor. Well, I was called the professor at the Trump Taj Mahal in the movie because I took the biggest bites, the great white shark, out of your bankroll. So I was a professional gambler my whole career, but I used what I learned in engineering to analyze the banking system and come up with the conclusion that my poker chips don't inflate because I don't charge interest. And the government's chips do inflate because they let the banks charge interest. So it's my duty as the only engineer on the planet specialized in banking systems that it's my duty to fix the program at the Bank of Canada's computer and the world. And I used elections as an opportunity to explain it to people. When I ran against Sheila Copps in 96, I said, I don't need to get elected. In 1984, I financed the LETS, Community Currency Time Bank Software, and it spread around the world. So I said, I don't need to get elected. I just need one person with a brain to pick up the LETS software and start it in Hamilton. Well, exactly one month after the headline, Super Loser Fails Again, Hamilton Self-Help Group starts up Hamilton LETS. Mission accomplished. They got a time bank, which allows single parents to log on what nights they can double-duty babysit each other's kids and pay each other with one-hour bills, even when they're broke. It's called banking your time and using it to spend in the network. So I financed that software, and I, it's my duty to spread it to the world, where time is the collateral, not gold. John, thanks so much, and uh, good luck on December 3rd. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.